In this video, I'll show you how to analyze the sine wave for amplitude, angular velocity, phase angle, period, frequency, and phase shift. The question reads, given the sine wave y is equal to 5.83 sine bracket 114 t plus 15 degrees, find the following properties. What you'll need to answer this question is to know how to point out each of these features. Let's start with phasor length. The phasor length is the amplitude of the sine wave. And that is this number right here. To find the phasor length, which I'll represent as PL, you have to take the absolute of whatever that number is. In our case, that number is positive, 5.83, so that itself is our phasor length. If it were negative, it would still be the following answer. Next, the angular velocity is represented by this Greek letter omega. And in our case, it's 114. It has to be in radians per second. So omega is equal to 114 radians per second. The phasor length, represented by this Greek letter phi, needs to be either in degrees or radians. Now, since our angular velocity is in radians, we should also convert this 15 degrees into radians, just to be consistent. So 15 degrees times, there are 180 degrees per every pi radians using our calculator, 15 times pi divided by 180, this gives us pi over 12, pi over 12 radians. Therefore, phi, phase angle, is pi over 12. Next, the period is defined as 2 pi over your angular velocity. So to do this, we'll take period is equal to 2 pi over 114, which gives us, using our calculator, 2 pi divided by 114 is 0 0.05511. The units for period should be seconds per cycle, even though I've written degrees down, we should remove that. So here we have this many seconds per cycle. Now, since this number is tiny, we can change seconds to milliseconds by multiplying this number by 1,000. So let's go ahead and do that. We have 55.11 milliseconds per cycle. The next feature is frequency, and frequency is not hard to do. All you have to do is flip the following number. It's the reciprocal of period. So our frequency is 1 divided by 0 0.05511. Notice that frequency is in cycles per second, so we can't use the millisecond version. We get 18.14. 18.14, I'll use hertz. And lastly, the phase shift is the negative phi over angular velocity. So whatever our phase shift was, and in our case it was pi over 12, we take the phase shift, which I'll represent as PS, is equal to negative pi over 12 divided by 114. We should end up with, using our calculator, negative pi over 12 divided by 114 gives us the following number, negative 0 0.002296, negative 0 0.002296. Now, what is the unit for phase shift? Remember, this one is in radians, and this one was in radians per second. That means the units for this are simply in seconds. And since this number is small, we can represent this in milliseconds by multiplying this whole number by 1,000, giving us 2.29, or negative 2.29 milliseconds. Now that we have all the information we need, we will first plot the period. And the period was at 55.11 milliseconds. So the x-axis here will represent time in milliseconds. And the y-axis will represent the output. And since there were no units provided, 
I'll simply mark this as 5.83, our amplitude, and mark the same part down here as negative 5.83. Next, I'll plot my period at 55.11. So this point right here is 55.11. And to find out these parts, I take this 55.11 and divide it by 4. So 55.11 divided by 4 gives us 13.77. 13.77 times 2 is 27.55. And then adding another 13.77 to this gives us 41.32. 41.32. Next, we have to plot the sine wave. The sine wave always starts at 0 and 0, makes its way up, down, down more, and then back to 0. So this is your sine wave. Connect these points with a smooth curve. Remember, this is a sketch, so you don't have to be perfect. And the last step is to apply the phase shift. The phase shift was negative 2.29, which means that all of your x values will shift slightly to the left by 2.29 units. This point was at 0 and 0, and we know that this point right here would be negative 13.77, this means we only need to show a small shift. So we'll call this one a phase shift of 2.29 and the same fate for all of the points. Connecting these now, you should have your final sketch. And there you have it. One cycle of the sine wave and that's how to analyze for all of these properties.